Petronelli brothers in Yasuo Casale, the three are used to the Dakar tracks. This year a new talent has emerged, South African Brad Baraguana. Casale was the first to strike when he won stage two. Since then, he has been the most regular of all. On Tuesday, in the stage between Thomas de Riondo and Huhui, the Chilean has been defeated by a mere four seconds by Baraguanath, turned to a minute four seconds after Kisale was sanctioned. Ignacio Kisale drove a little too fast in the liaison and paid the price. The damage was limited since Kisale holds on to a strong lead. The Patronelli's on their side were all but consistent. On stage three, Alessandro suffered a crash and finished tenth of the stage more than six minutes adrift, and Marcos clocked in ten minutes behind the day's winner. But today, the younger brother, Marcos, winner in 2010 and 2013 but absent last year, proved he could renew his former exploits. He took the stage in San Salvador de Jujuy in 5 hours 9 minutes, only 16 seconds faster than Peru's Hernandez, and 25 seconds ahead of Casale. The older brother finished a little further behind, close to 4 minutes adrift. The big loser of the day was Baraguanath, who lost over 40 minutes. At the overall classification, the South Americans dominate, with Casale still leading. Let's not forget about Rafael Sonix in 6th place, 20 minutes off the Chilean, and Qatar's Abu Isa, 8th, with a 21-minute gap. Baraguanath can no longer hope. He is 16th of the GC, 43 minutes behind Casale, who has to keep an eye on Alejandro Patronelli, 3rd at 14 minutes, and Marcos, 5th at 18 minutes. The game is on. Short stages like the one between Terrasa Riondo and Pugui can't create big gaps in the tracks category. Last to start in the special, the road monsters had to stop shortly after the second checkpoint because the track became unstable a little further. We are at checkpoint 3 and we just received a call from race headquarters telling us that the track special was stopped, so we now are going to give them the new liaison course to get to the bivouac. Et on doit leur donner un nouveau parcours de liaison afin de rejoindre le bivouac. Logically, the fastest man at the start had an advantage. They kept Colomy of the Czech Republic took his Tatra to the first place, ahead of Stacy of MAN and Villagra on Iveco. Three manufacturers on the podium doesn't happen so often. This stage was not long enough to make difference yet, though. After Tuesday's misfortunes, the truck's race did resume today around San Salvador de Jujuy. The competition is always tied between MAN, Iveco and Camas. This time it's Gerard de Roy who took his Iveco to the line in first place, ahead of his two countrymen, Verstois and Stacy on MAN. The first Iveco was Villagras, the Argentine, in fourth. Nikolaev finished close behind in fifth place, three minutes thirty after the day's winner. At the GC, MAN leads with Verlius and Stacy ahead of Iveco's Bilagra and Deroy. All of them are in less than 5 minutes and for the first cameras, it's Mordiev's truck, 10 minutes of Verlius.